world. Petey Gwaltney Jr., like his father, Petey Gwaltney Sr., kept a product behind and used it as a marketing tool. Smithfield in the production of ham had been going pretty strong by 1902 and PD Jr. Uh, was producing hams and selling them out of his uh, store here in the town of Smithfield. Uh, ham kind of got left behind one time, they didn't get shipped out and they decided to keep the ham, add a special collar to it, we called it Gwaltney's Pet Ham and used it as a marketing tool and to show people how the process of Smithfield hams were made. He would take it to food shows, um, to special events, put it in a vault in his headquarters and also insured it for when he was on the road. The ham itself was in Ripley's Believe It or Not at least four times um, and was designated the oldest ham in the world by the 1930s, but it became an icon to the Gwaltney name. The family donated it to the museum in the 1990s and it's become a very popular um, tourist uh, object as we are finding ourselves in special uh, tours, road trips, and the ham is famous because it's got its own camera. So if you ever need to, log on and you can see the ham 24 hours a day.